All right, so today I wanna to show you guys something with your Apple Watch that is new for iOS 10. And I think it's actually better and more beneficial for the Apple Watch. So for example, you remember the honeycomb, how it used to be in the past where you would have to scroll through everything or enlarge? Now with watchOS 10, you can basically scroll through all your apps. And the best part about it is that it stays within this area, so it doesn't go away. Now, I like this view better with watchOS 10 because I can access the apps much easier than scrolling up and down the list. But there's two things that I think that are great with it. One, you can access the apps much faster, so they load quick. But two, you can personalize where and how you want them. So the thing is, you can actually hold down and you can move them here, but it's very hard if you got bigger fingers. So what I like the most and what Apple has done is if you go into your... Apple Watch app on the phone, and you go under App View, you can see the two views that you can change, but now you have this new feature here called Arrangement. And this is by far the best. You go into Arrangement, and you've got exactly the same layout as you have on the watch showing up on the phone. Exactly the same layout. So instead of having to arrange them on the watch, you can simply hold down here, and you can move the apps wherever you want. It's by far the best way to organize the apps on the Apple Watch. It's almost exactly as intuitive as the iPhone itself. But you've got every app here. You can see exactly all your apps that you have on the Apple Watch. And they're very, very easy to move around. So this is by far the easiest way to organize the apps in this new honeycomb type of feature that Apple has added with watchOS 10. And I think it's so much better than trying to do it on the watch face because if you have bigger fingers, it's not so easy to do. So that is one awesome little trick I wanted to show you guys with the Apple Watch with watchOS 10. Hopefully more updates will come out about that. But um, this is a new way now to rearrange your apps the way you want them on your Apple Watch. And whatever you do here on the uh, iPhone app, you, it'll actually translate to the Apple Watch immediately. So you don't have to worry about this syncing and all that stuff either. All right, hope you guys learned something from that. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget, hit the subscribe, give it a like, and share it out to anyone that needs to learn the same trick on the Apple Watch with watchOS 10. I'll come back with more videos. Thanks for watching.